to um i was making a whole video with selfie mode with the camera pointed away from me story of my life um so i'm feeling really self-conscious and trying to be kind of quiet because like i said i live in a townhouse right now um i don't live in like farmland wilderness like i would like to and it's supper time right now and whoops i think i zoomed in that is now a mechanic shop so i don't know if you can see it but they are we're working on a car out there all kinds of men grunting and stuff and there's a gas station so yeah really self-conscious and trying to just to not look like uh just sitting here talking to myself someone's talking to my cat i guess i don't know i wanted to share with you um some of my little projects i have going on right now I totally forgot something I needed for that. You're probably looking at my nose. Who cares? So, <laughs> uh, last year I did um, two, I guess you could call raised flower beds uh, with a lot of vegetables. I did a lot of tomato plants, stuff like that. But I overwhelmed myself with how many vegetables I did and didn't continue to take care of all of them correctly. So most of them died. Um, but if you're going to grow them just to see if you can and how to grow them, by all means, if you want to waste the money, waste the money. Um, this year, I wanted to focus more on herbs. So, that's what I mainly have in... <laughs> my cat's chewing grass. That's what I mainly have in one of my raised flower beds. Um, the other one I wanted to pickle this year. So, I'm doing like strictly cucumbers in the other one. Um, everything else is just from seeds. Oh my gosh, people are looking at me. Everything else is just from seeds. Um... That I just had laying around and wanted to waste and try. So these are some of the things that I've done. People are looking at me so I'm going to act like I'm filming something instead of myself. Oh my gosh. I'm the most self-conscious person in the world. It's okay. I'm having issues editing vid videos. So I'm trying to do this all in one take. Um, this is what I'm trying to do with getting rid of some of the seeds I had. And I've never grown lettuce in containers before, so we are attempting. Um, as you can see, I am a forgetful person. I will plant something in a pot and not remember what I planted in it. So I just folded up the seed packets, because like I said, I'm getting rid of seeds and wanted to just use all of them to get rid of it. You can always thin plants out later. Um, I am a seedaholic. I hoard seeds. Um, you don't even need to see the container of seeds I have right now in my house I just folded it and stuck it in there if the elements get to it it's okay just long enough that it can grow enough for me to remember what's in there and for my beds I actually drew a map believe it or not it also has some notes on it about what needs to be dry what needs to be wet um so in here I did a gourmet mix um I'm not super concerned about these growing so I just kind of sprinkled all the seeds on top and laid the soil over um, I didn't go into the full fourth inch, blah, blah, blah. On this one, I have spinach. You might be able to tell that if you're a spinach eater from that right there. Uh, this one, I forget what the type of lettuce is called. Something with a P. Paris Island. It says it's great for containers. I guess we'll find out. It looks like it has a head to it, so I was a little confused on how it would be great with containers. Why are they just sitting in their car staring at me? They're ruining my life right now. Stop! I'm trying to do one take! <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> See? This is why I can't do anything. Look, look at the cat. What is going on? <laughs> You're making this look like a bad 1990s home video. <laughs> He's running! Nay, nay, you're okay. Oh, poor thing. Nay, nay. So much for not editing this video. Come here, you're okay. He was enjoying his day. It was just ruined. Okay, anyways, this one I have bib lettuce, I think. I think that's bib lettuce. No, it's black beaded Simpson or something. I mean, who knew there were so many types of lettuce with so many names? And I make a mess when I garden if, um... If you don't make a mess, you're not doing it right. And in this one, I have three different things. Oh, goodness, sorry. I actually have three different things in this one that are not going to grow well together. I mean, substantially they will, but 
Um, I planted a lot of seeds in this, so they would definitely have to be thinned out when they're older. I did some onions, because I do like to chop up a little bit of onion here and there. Green onions. Um, I did bell peppers, and I did jalapenos. So, goodness, hello. Do you feel better now? He's going to get dirty now. Um, everything else is still a work in progress. This is how I did my herb garden. It looks really silly, but it is extremely functional. Um, all these look wilted because I just planted them yesterday, so they're still trying to spruce back up. If they die, it is okay. Um, for anyone that doesn't know anything about mint, this is spearmint. They grow huge and bushy. Like I said, they're super wilty right now. They're still trying to acclimate to their new environment. Um, they love moisture. I literally just watered everything so it looks super wet. Um, they love moisture and they actually, you know, if I wasn't doing this video, I could have told you the technical term, but they ha grow underneath the ground. Um, like they shoot little things off of their roots, just like with clover. That's why you see so much clover everywhere. So because of that, they can ruin your flower beds, but they're also extremely hardy. So I put in a piece of wood. Um, the only type of wood I had short enough for over there without using my saw was from an old bookcase, so disregard that piece of ghetto-ness. Um, but I put a piece of wood down so that their roots couldn't get over to the rest of my flower bed. They may still get under it somehow. It does happen. This is my peppermint. I have one big plant and I just split it up into small plants. Once again, they're super hardy because of where they do grow just from those roots underground. I've already planted one of the roots or I would show it to you. Um, so if the actual plant dies, I will still have plenty of roots from it that will sprout new plants. Um, I divided this up strictly for myself to know where all the plants are and kind of keep them separate. Um, there's some type of plants, herbs, that want more water than others and there's some that need to stay dry. So I made myself a little map with wet and dry on it. Um, I'm going to do oregano. I'm still trying to find chamomile seeds. I may have to order them cilantro and basil um, close to my tomatoes. Sorry, bugs are crazy out here. And then I'm doing rosemary and thyme. And then sage I have in its own specific spot because it can get pretty big. He is enjoying life out here. He is loving it. You need attention, don't you? And this is where I'm keeping my cucumbers. Most people don't put the cage. <laughs> Most people don't put the cages up until the plants are growing. But I wanted to get ahead of business. Cucumbers need um, full sun, so I did it on this side of the stairs because this is where the full sun will be during the afternoon. Um, same with all this, they need full sun, so I put them on that side so that they would not be hindered from this. Um, I also have lavender. Lavender, is, I found out I went to a lavender farm and found out a bunch of information about lavender. Um, this is super lavender, and you can see how it's already getting some little buds on there, flowering up. Um, they need full sun, and they actually need to be able to dry out in between. Not only dry out in between, they're more, I guess, of a desert-type plant. So all of these are in the full sun. Um, I put two seeds per cage, and I <laughs> literally rigged this. So I can have a taller cage. I may rig this one once uh, they start growing, if they grow. So this way they can have their own little area to grow up and around. They can also grow up this. I had some, my green beans do it last year. They completely grew from just one or two plants right here and grew completely up my porch. Completely up, took it over and I actually had to rip some of the vines down because my porch was a jungle. And last but not least, me and the kids planted some petunias. I hate petunias, but I figured it was a good pretty flower for them to grow. This is our workstation, and these are their little flags so they know who's
plants they are apparently. <laughs> Bless their hearts. But this is my, my townhouse garden this year. Um, like I said, it's super different than what I did last year. Super crazy. Um, hey, Nene. <laughs> People still looking at me. Last year, like I said, I had them all the way up my steps and I had pots all over things just growing everywhere it was a complete jungle um so i'm trying to be more selective this year learn how to grow some new things so you guys get my full experience from that and what works and doesn't work <laughs> he's still needing attention come here I'm going to cut this short even though it's already been probably about 20 minutes. Now more people are looking at me. This is wonderful. I'm only going to say that 20 more times. So, um, I mean, by all means, you don't have to have a green thumb to grow anything. Just grow out there. Grow out there. Just grow out there. <laughs> grow yourselves and grow some plants. <laughs> Bye, y'all.